So we're here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Victoria Sukanik, who's the chairman of Study Group 5 on Environment and the Circular Economy. Victoria, welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Hello, Fred. How are you? And thank you for giving us this place to talk about our work here in ITU. It's a pleasure, pleasure. Um, so here we are at the start of a new uh, study period, and uh, congratulations on your chairmanship. Uh, could you please explain uh, to our viewers uh, the, the work of uh, Study Group 5 and where we might see it at play in our daily lives? Yes, of course. As you've mentioned, we've started a new period. And in this period, we are dealing with uh, not only uh, climate change phenomena, but also to with circular economy. And our lead roles in within IC ITUT is related to resistibility, to electromagnetic compatibility, uh, electromagnetic fi fields, and also, as I mentioned, uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation. And maybe one example I can give you is one of our latest last res recommendations, as you know, our, our main task is to deliver uh, standards, international standards, which are called recommendations within ITUT. And one of the last ones we've delivered is for the fishery sector. Maybe you will find it a bit strange because we are in the ICT sector, mm -hmm. but we know climate change is affecting natural resources and we aim to help with giving some tools related to ICT to the other sectors of the economy. And one of our last recommendations was related to that. Okay, very interesting. And, um, you know, you mentioned the responsible management of electromagnetic fields. Um, can you please explain, um, you know, the work taking place in your study group uh, in relation to, to this domain? Yes, electromagnetic fields is quite an important topic within our group, especially in its relation to human exposure to EMF because it's a sen sensitive topic. Uh, people are really worried about the infrastructure deployment. They are worried because of the effects on their health. And our main task there is to give people and governments the, the elements, the tools, in order to, to monitor and to control these effects and to show people that uh, they are under control. Let's say that we apply with the WHO uh, levels that mm -hmm. are that are the ones that the world should, should apply. And in that sense, we have a series of recommendations too, that it has to do with K83, 91, 113. Uh, as I mentioned, they are tools for governments and for also for the industry and for people in general, for the community, to have uh, in real time the monitoring of the EMF in their cities. Okay. and. Um, you know, there's uh, the second half of your name is uh, circular economy. Um, can you d please explain this, this concept and um, how does the, the work of the, the study group uh, contribute to the circular economy? Yes, this is the last topic we have added to our to our study group. This was agreed during the last uh, WGSA uh, conference. And in circular economy, what we deal is with uh, the circularity means both from sharing until recycling products or materials. And in that sense, circular economy also includes e-waste. E-waste is just one part of the, of the whole process in which you can include, as I mentioned, sharing, reuse, refurbishing, and recycling of products. And in that sense, we are also uh, already approved some recommendations related to uh, giving some steps and recommendations to uh, the industry related to the supply chain, which steps they should take in order to attain circularity. And in e-waste, we are also uh, delivering several recommendations, and now we are trying to start working on the inventories on e-waste, because in order to, to reduce e-waste, as is uh, our main task, that has been our the objective, the target that we've received from, from the Connect 2020 and also from the Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, our main task is to re reduce e-waste, but for that, first we need to make the inventories and we are working on that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, another important uh, component of sustainability is uh, energy efficiency. Um, can you please explain how some of your work or standards in, in your group uh, contribute to energy efficiency in ICTs? 
Yes, of course. In energy efficiency, we have delivered a series of standards, recommendations related to uh, chargers and adapters, mm -hmm. both for mobile phones, for uh, PCs, and for desk PC for tablets. And in that sense, there is uh, we are also we have also worked in green data centers to uh, give some recommendations on green data centers and now we are also studying the 5G standard. We know it's still in process, but we are analyzing the possible energy efficiency impact of 5G. Uh -huh. And um, so if I understand correctly, um, the environmental aspects of 5G is a new high priority for your study group. Um, what are some of the issues at play that you're working on and um, some of the biggest challenges that your group will try to solve? Well, as I've mentioned, uh, the, s the standard for 5G is still underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. we there are some trials being taken taking place nowadays, but we know that more or less till 2020 we won't have the standard. But we try to start working on the possible impacts of 5G uh, related to electromagnetic compatibility, EMF, resistibility, and energy efficiency, as I mentioned. We've already delivered some technical reports, and also we have some supplements for recommendations already, especially in energy efficiency. Okay, Victor. Well, thank you very much indeed for your time, and I'd like to wish you all the best of luck and success uh, for your study group and the new study period. Thank you, Fred. And just one thing I would like to ask is to invite everybody to see our webpage, where you can see in detail so all the work we are doing and also to welcome uh, all the regions you participate. We have four regional groups in our study group, so they are really welcome to come and bring their own worries and, and works they are delivering within the regions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Victoria.